give a shout out to one of my favorite crafting mediums, and it's the Dina Wakely Acrylic Gloss Spray. It's a liquid acrylic, um, and it has some sort of uh, binder in it that makes it really shiny and glossy when you spray it. It makes really cool patterns for backgrounds. This was sprayed just on a matte finish card, and that's the front. You can see how glossy it is. It looks like it's still wet. It has a resistant quality to it, so it beads and pulls up when sprayed on like colors. So it really makes for good backgrounds and textures and interest. Um, it's fast drying, um, which means your cleanup needs to happen pretty quickly. Um, your surface, you'll need to <laughs> wipe it up pretty quickly. And you'll need to clean the nozzles pretty quickly too. And I thought that just wiping it with a wet wipe when I was done would do the trick. And some of them that works and then some of my colors just clogged up and I wasn't able to spray. In fact, I think this one is not working right now. So I'm pressing, pressing, nothing's happening. It's actually trying to come out around the bottom edge. I've tried soaking them in hot water. I've tried soaking them, the nozzle, taking it out and soaking it in a jar of hot water or alcohol. And I've tried trying to clean out that little nozzle tip with a needle. That probably made it worse. I don't know. It, it just did not recover, though. Um, you can pour and drip this stuff out of the bottle, and it has the same effect, but I also like to spray it. So what I did is I just bought a similar sized bottle on the ones that were clogged and transferred them. So here's one that's transferred. There's a little mixing ball inside, and you'll want to be, be sure to transfer that to the new bottle. To keep it mixed up, you can see this binder kind of separates the glossiness, and it settles at the bottom. So you just need to shake it really well before you use it. Then, once you've sprayed as much as you want to, You'll take this nozzle out and just run some clean water through it. So I keep an extra little spray bottle, spritz it till it comes out clean, and then put it back in. And then it's ready to go next time. It only took a few seconds to do that, and it's good to go. now. This bottle still works, so I have some that still work, and I just take these nozzles out and run spritz water through them. Um, this one I'm going to have to transfer to a new bottle because I could not get this nozzle to work. So I hope that's helpful to somebody. I tried to look for videos on how to keep these from clogging, but I didn't find anything. So that's what I did, and hope it helps. Thanks. Later.